Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we are going to discuss about the directory management in Unix. So in the previous lecture we have covered all about the file management where we have covered the basic commands that you need to know if you are dealing with shell scripting. So in this lecture we will go through some basic topics regarding directory management. So the first question will be what really is a directory? So a directory is a file whose job is to store the file names and the related information which is associated with it. So all the files whether they are ordinary or specials or a directory are contained in these directories. So Unix has a hierarchical structure for organizing files and directories. This structure is often referred as a directory tree. So this tree has a single root node and the slash character and all the other directories are contained below it. Our next topic is home directory. So the directory in which you will be available when you first log into the system is called your home directory. So you will be doing most of your work in your home directory and the subdirectories that you will be creating to organize your all the contents. So you can go to the home directory by using this given command which is given here. Let me show you how. So this is the command prompt and currently we are in the home directory. So if you want to go if you are in the other directory. So let me show you the list of directories here. So ls. So here there are so many directories are present in this home directory. So let's consider if you are in this. If you are in one of these directories. If you want to go back into your home directory, you just have to type the command like cd and the symbol. This is the approximation symbol that you use in the mathematics more often. So after hitting enter, as you can see by this command you can go directly to your home directory. But suppose if you want to go into your last directory, you can go that by using the command like cd and instead of approximation symbol you just give dash. So this command will get you into your last directory. Our next topic is absolute or relative path names. So the directories are arranged in hierarchical with the root at top. We have discussed this earlier. So this position of any file within the hierarchy is described as a path name. So elements of the path name are separated by the slash symbol. So a path name is absolute if it is described in relation to the root. So thus absolute pathways always begins with slash symbol. So these are some example of an absolute path name as you can see here. So the path name is can be also relative to your current working directory. So relative pathways never log in slash symbol. Our next topic is present directory. So to determine where you are within the file system hierarchy at any time, you have to use the pwd command which is a present working directory command to print the current working directory. So let me show you how it works. So to use this, you just have to type pwd. After hitting enter, as you can see, we are getting the current working directory where we are currently in. This is very simple process. This way you can get to know in which directory you are currently working now. Our next topic is listing directories. So to list out the files in a directory, we can use this listing command which is ls and then the directory name. So for listing out the contents present in the directory, let me first list out the items which are present in our home directory. To do that just type ls. So these are all the files and directories which are present in our current which is a home directory. So let's consider if you want to list out the items which are present in either of these directories we just have to use the ls command again and we have to give the absolute path or a directory name. So in this case if you want to if you want to know the contents within this amp code directory you just have to give ls and it's and the directory name which is amp code. So here you can see you're getting all the contents which are present in the amp code directory. So as we have already discussed in our previous lecture, we can use uh, options such as hyphen L or hyphen LDR to get the more information of these contents. So to do that just use ls 
in this case we will use l and give the directory name same directory so as you can see it is getting the total information and each column represents some meaning that we have discussed in the previous lecture so the first one will say the type of the file as well as the permissions which is allowed also its contents also its usernames and the timestamp and at the last we will get the file or a directory name so in this case at this all contents are starting with d so as you know these are all the directories our next topic is how to create a directory we can create the directories by using the mkdir command so we can create the directory in our current directory or a home directory or otherwise we can give the absolute path to create the directories directly into that path let me show you how so first let let me clear out this clutter by using the clear command and now for creating a directory you have to use mkdir command so mkdir and the directory name that you want to create apple after hitting enter as you can see we have created one directory named apple let me show you by listing out the contents so as you can see our new directory has been created here but if you want to create a directory in some specific path so let's consider if you want to create one directory in one of these following directories so let's consider if you want to create a directory in this linux directory we just have to provide the path so to do that just use mktir which is make directory command just give the directory in which you want to create your new directory so just give linux slash symbol which we are using for hierarchical tree structure and give the directory name so in this case just give apple so as you can see our directory has been created so our next topic is removing the directories so directories can be deleted by using the rmdir command so it is very similar procedure which we use for creating the directories instead of mkdir we just have to use the rmdir to remove the directories which are present so we can either remove one directory or multiple directories at a one time let me show you how so for removing the directory we just have to use rmdir command so rmdir and give the directory names so in this case we will remove this apple directory so remove apple so it is removed from our current directory let me validate this by using the list out command so ls as you can see the apple directory has been completely removed so but if you want to remove multiple directories we can remove them at one time we just have to separate all the directory names with the space so how to do that just use rmdir and give the multiple directories that you want to delete so here we will delete python sql and shell so we have given three directories that you want to remove after hitting enter so these three directories has been removed let me validate this list out the contents as you can see all the directories that we have given has been removed from our home directory but if you want to delete the directory which is present in another directory we can do that by giving the path to the rmdir command to do that just use a similar process that we have used for mkdir process is rmdir so as we have created one directory called apple in this linux directory just give the same path linux slash apple as you can see this apple directory has been removed as we have given the path to that directory our next topic is how to change the directories so as of now we were just working in the same home directory and we are just giving the path but we are not changing the directories so now we will discuss it for changing the directories we have to use the cd command by specifying a valid absolute or a relative path let me show you with some examples so first just clear out the clutter so these are the contents of our home directory if you want to change your directory we just have to use the cd command which is change directory command and give the specific directory that you want to be in so here we will give am code so as you can see we are now in the am code directory now 
so we will list out the items here so as you can see these many items are present in our am code directory so this is how you can change the directory so again we will go into this bash directory so to do that just use cd bash as you can see now we are in the bash directory which is present in the am code directory so from here if you want to go one step back you just have to use cd command and give dash so as you can see we are now in the am code directory again if you want to go directly to the home directory just give like cd and the approximation symbol as you can see you are in the home directory right now and our last topic is renaming the directories it's so it is similar process how we have renamed the files in the previous tutorial so to do that we just have to use the mv command which is a move command and give the old directory and new directory names separated by space let me show you with some example so here we are currently in the home directory right now so let me list out the items which are present here so these are all the items which are present in our home directory if you want to rename the linux to the unix we can do that by using the mv command which is move command so just type mv give the old directory name which is linux and give space after that just give the new directory name that you want just give like unix so we have successfully renamed our linux directory let me validate this by using the list command again as you can see the name has been changed to the unix it is so simple and similar to how we have changed the file names earlier so i hope you understood all about the directory management in unix its basic concept what is a home directory what are the absolute or relative path names how we are listing out the directories also we have created the directories removed them also we have discussed how to navigate through all the directories by using the change directory or a cd command and at the last we have seen how to rename the directory by using the mv command so if you like this lecture please consider subscribing and also ring the notification bell to get latest updates and don't forget to join us on our social media which we have linked in the description below thanks for watching